Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. So this reading is going to be a general reading for the collective. So the messages may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. I may pick up mixed messages for different people. So just take what resonates with you. So I've already got the cards ready for this reading so we can jump straight in and see what messages Spirit has for you in this reading. To see what's coming towards you in love and in life. So, to outline the reading, we have a few cards. We've got children. Your love life is being affected by children. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Uh, deception. Someone's wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Right. So something's coming in. Someone's coming in here. Yeah, we've got a new love situation coming in. However, I feel like all is not as it seems in this situation with this person you guys let's pull some more cards get some more insight here see what you need to know so we have apology okay so it is someone that wants your forgiveness we have forgiveness here right someone that wants your forgiveness divine masculine right divine masculine energy that is coming in here to apologize. We got trigger. This masculine feels triggered. Distance, yeah, there's a distance between you and this, this person. This triggering this person, triggering this masculine, they feel trapped. We have future. Yeah, they see you, they see you as their future. Twin flame, wow. For some of you, you have a twin flame connection here with this masculine coming in here. Yeah, but they're wearing a mask. We've got mask. More clarity with the mask here. Temptation. Sexual energy. Release. Hurt. Oh. Uh, and divine timing. So yeah, divine timing is that play in this situation between you and this this person, this masculine here. Yeah. We got hurt, we got release. I mean there's masculine coming in here. Sexual energy, yeah. Temptation. There's masculine coming in. They they're coming in. I feel like they, they want to apologize. Or your forgiveness about something here. They see you as the future, but there's something that can't be trusted about this situation. For some of you, it might even be a fake apology I'm getting. Yeah, let's pull some more cards here. Tap into the energies, pull out the tarot. There's something can't be trusted about this situation. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, new beginning here. Coming through. Yeah, this masculine is trying to manifest here. New beginning. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords in reverse. We've got the lovers in reverse. Yeah. So something's off about this situation, you guys. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, let's clarify. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, something's off. Yeah, there's boundaries here in the situation. Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles in reverse. For some of you, I'm getting... This, there's a karmic relationship here. This masculine is in a karmic relationship. Yeah, temperance in reverse. King of swords in reverse. Yeah, this is a relationship. King and queen of swords. There's a match here. There's a couple. This is a karmic couple. 
Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups in reverse. <sighs> yeah. I really feel like this is a situation where you may be the one that got away. I'm reading for those of you who have released yourself, you know, from someone that's toxic, you know, I feel to say it's a narcissist, king of swords in reverse. Yeah, they want to come back. They're trying to manifest a new beginning here with you. But this situation is off balance. There's a lot of blockages in the situation here. It's like dealing with this person, you know, just doesn't doesn't grow. There's no growth here. Or this situation, there's something about the situation that's done in the growth. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Temperance in reverse. The lovers in reverse. Yeah. This, this situation, this relationship is unable to grow. Dealing with this person. So I'm getting, for some of you, it's like this person coming in, this person, from this masculine here, it's like they, they're only coming in to stop you, to stop your growth. Yeah. For some of you, yeah, deception. There's something, they're coming in, but they're lying. They're coming in to manifest a new beginning with you, but they're not being honest about their current situation here. They're wearing a mask. They're coming in lying to you. So, you know, they're trying to manipulate you here, I feel. This is some sort of manipulation tactic here because this is a masculine that's trying to hold you back, I feel. this. You know, they're trying to block you. This, this masculine is trying to block Block you from moving on. I feel like you are guarded here with this masculine. Nine of Wands. There's boundaries in the situation here. And they 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 they're trying to they're trying to come back here. They're trying to manifest a new beginning because you're moving on from them. And I just feel like they're jealous. I'm getting jealousy. This is a masculine that's jealous of someone's growth. Yeah, I really feel like this is a, this is a situation where this masculine here, you know, you're not able to do it. There won't be any growth in this situation dealing with this masculine at this time. Yeah, because for some of you, I'm picking up that this masculine is married or they're in some sort of commitment with someone else. We've got a queen of swords, king, queen of swords. They could be married here. Or they're in some sort of commitment with someone else. The hell? <laughs> They're going to lie, though, and tell you. They're going to come in and act, act like they're single, I feel. Act like a, They're going to act like a new person. They're going to pretend that they've changed. This person's going to lie. This person hasn't changed. They're a liar. <sighs> they're lying. This person, this person, there's children. They're, they're, they're committed to someone they got children with. Your love life is being affected by children. Yeah. So there's no growth in this situation with this masculine coming in. They're only coming in here to slow you down so that you don't meet someone new, I feel. Yeah, because I feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like you are meeting someone new. You have new love. There's new energy coming in here. Someone's manifesting a new beginning and it's coming through. Ace of Pentacles. It's Ace of Wands. Someone's manifesting a new beginning here and it's coming through. That's new energy is coming through. Regardless. And someone here is trying to stop it. They're trying to put blockages in it. On this new beginning here. Somehow. To manipulate someone so they don't meet someone new. And that's all it is. So yeah, I feel like this masculine coming in. They're going to come in and try make this offer all exciting here. With Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You know, try to sweep you off your feet and stuff. But... It's just, it's just to manipulate you here. 
to throw you off your game because this masculine can see you're going places here. You're about to meet someone new, someone better than them. And they're jealous of that. This is someone that's maybe possessive over you. I don't know what it is because they're in a commitment with someone else. This is someone in a karmic relationship here. So they can't really give you a love that you deserve. You guys are not, the lovers is in reverse. There's blockages here. This is what's blocking you guys from growing because they're already stuck in a karmic relationship here. And for some of you, this karmic relationship, whoever they're married to or committed with, whoever they've got children with as well, is sending a lot of um, blockages as well in this situation. So I'm getting that as well. That is this karmic, is a, the, the partner is also aware that this masculine here is in love with you or obsessed with you. They know that this masculine wants to sleep with you, Ace of Wands. It's an issue. It's an issue. Yeah, because this masculine feels trapped. They feel trapped here. There's manipulation going on. It's like this karmic, this masculine, they could be in a karmic relationship with someone that is manipulating them. Yeah. There's a, I feel like it's a codependent relationship, you know? It's a karmic, karmic codependent relationship. Maybe it's to do with uh, the fact that they got children as well. So, yeah. This person feels trapped in a codependent relationship with someone. I feel like they don't love King and Queen of Swords. There's no love between this pe these people. They're both cold and detached. But for somehow, somehow they got children, you know, in this situation. So this person feels trapped in this situation because of children. Yeah. It's a codependent relationship for money. That's what it's about. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Someone got in, you know, this masculine got uh, trapped in this karmic situation. Because they were codependent for financial stability. Or whoever they're with is codependent on them for financial stability. And because they got children, they feel obliged. They're trapped in the situation because they got children. This is what I'm getting. Children is keeping someone trapped here in a codependent relationship. They feel trapped. Because there's no love in that relationship. Yeah, so it's all about money. Yeah. This is what I'm getting. It's toxic. Because this, this I feel like the, the feminine energy, the Queen of Swords, they're doing the most to hold on here. To this masculine. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, manipulation going on here. There's a lot of blockage to block this new beginning. So this is what I'm getting. I mean, this is a toxic situation. It's like both both these people are toxic. This masculine is currently toxic right about now. They're operating in a very low vibration right now. They came out with, in reverse, King of Swords in reverse. So that lets me know, you know, they're, they're operating, operating in a toxic vibration right now. Deception, you know. They're, 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 they're trying to come in here to manipulate you but it's for their own selfish reasons really they're trying to hold on to you here but they're still you know attached to a karmic situation here this is what it looks like because so the situation is off balance temperance in reverse could be you could have Sagittarius in your chart this person could have Sagittarius in their chart maybe Sagittarius season maybe significant for someone here but yeah, this person, I feel like they're going to apologise. You know, they're coming to apologise here. Probably ask or beg for your forgiveness. Yeah, but I feel like it's a fake apology. It's fake. This person's a liar. This masculine is a liar. Deception. It's fake. They don't mean it. They're not really sorry. They're just, they're just saying it. Just, they just want to tell you. Things that they think that you want to hear. You know, this person's trying to change your mind about them. Trying to get in your head. Trying to manipulate you here. 
to look at them differently, give them a chance here. Yeah, but, I mean, their behaviour is the same. This person hasn't changed. This person hasn't changed. They hasn't, they, there's blockages here, you know, in this person's energy that they haven't changed. They're wearing a mask. This is what I'm saying. I mean, moving forward, it's not about uh, fake apologies. It's, not, it's no longer about apologies no more. It's all, it's all about changed behaviour. We are not accepting verbal apologies. Yeah, moving forward. It's all about changed behaviour. Because people would do and say anything, you know. They would say anything. Chat shit but, and lie, you know, wear a mask. Just to get their way. But action speaks louder. It's all about how this person's actions. This is what you have to observe here. Because moving forward with this person, this person is going to show you that they cannot be trusted. Yeah. So some of you, they're going to lie, come in and lie. It's either they're gonna lie that and say that they love you, but that's a lie. Ace of Cups is in reverse. This person, all this person wants to do is sleep with you. There is a strong physical attraction for you. This is someone that is, you know, physically attracted to you, you know. Or it's either they're gonna lie and, and pretend that they're not in love with you, <laughs> but they are. They're very attracted to you. So take it how it resonates. But they're going to lie about something here. So moving forward with this person is just... Not really, you know, it's not It's not going to be... It's not going to go smoothly at all. You know, it's going to be a lot of drama. This is what I feel. Because I feel like for some of you, this person doesn't want to let you go. Because they simply don't want you to, to be happy with someone else. This is someone that's just jealous of you or something, but they're with someone else. This is what I don't understand. It's like this person, I feel like this person's moved on. This is someone that's married someone else. They've got children with someone else. They moved on. They may have recently had children. This is someone that may have recently had children. I'm getting for some of you. They've got a child with someone else recently. They're getting people out here pregnant, but still trying to hold on to you. This person's obsessed with you. It's like... For some of you, I'm getting like... This is um, like this is a masculine here that's like really insecure. Maybe your success makes this person insecure. They're jealous of your success, I'm getting. This is someone jealous of your success or something. Yeah, because you do get them kind of men. I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with just a, a masculine here. That's uh, the type of masculine that that uh, that's intimidated by like strong, independent women. Yeah, this is a masculine that's that's uh, intimidated here by your independence because I feel for some of you you are successful on your own or without this person you are manifesting new beginnings in your life without this person here and this is what makes this person triggered yeah this is what yeah it's triggering this person they're triggered they're jealous because this is someone for some of you this is someone this is a masculine here that wants you to be codependent on them. This is what I'm getting. They want you to be codependent on them. This is someone that wants to feel needed by you. And it's triggering this person. Your independence triggers this person because it makes them feel like you don't need them. In fact, this person wants you to need them. This is why they're attracted to needy people. They are attracted to these kind of low vibrational, you know, women or men. You know, they get into relationships, these codependent relationships, because it makes them feel needed. For some of you, this person, it's like they're coming in here to sweep you off your feet. It's like they might be coming in here with a big offer, you know, like... <sighs> something material, materialistic, you know... To sweep you off your feet here. You know, it's exciting. Ace of Wands. This person really wants to sweep you off your feet. 
something tangible, something to related to do with money. This person may have money and they want to use their money here to manipulate you. Yeah, to make you codependent on them. This person wants you to be codependent on them. This is someone that may have money. I feel like they're going to use their money to manipulate you for some of you, if that's the case. If this person has money, then yeah, they're going to use their money, throw gifts at you, to sweep you off your feet, you know. They may want to wine and dine you, take you on dates and stuff. But yeah, this person, I feel like this is how they're going to, you know, they really want to come in here. And come in big, you know. Sweep you off your feet. Yeah, come in like some big grand gesture. This is what I'm getting. This is someone coming in with a big grand gesture here to apologize to you. Yeah. To hide the fact that they're lying, that they're flipping married to someone else or got children with someone else recently, or you know, that they they're not gonna be able to commit to you during this time because if they're married to someone else but they want to hide it with some big romantic gesture here this is what i'm saying it's going to seem exciting this is someone that really wants to sweep you off your feet maybe take you on a, on a romantic getaway for some of you or i'm here in a house for some of you this person this person wants to offer you a house or something or a car something materialistic something material tangible like an offer you can't refuse. This person wants you codependent on them. It's like they want you to be codependent on them for happiness, for your happiness here. You don't need this person to make you happy though. And that's what's, that's what's triggering this person. You don't need this person to make you happy. You know your worth. You're already doing good without this person. You're already manifesting what you want. Without this person, your own happiness is coming through. Ace of Pentacles. This is what I'm saying. It's triggering this person. You don't need them. They may come and try and test your boundaries here. Nine of Wands in reverse. This is someone going to come and test your boundaries here. Come with an offer that you can't refuse to see. You know. To test you. Yeah. To test your worth. Because this is someone that's triggered here. They're codependent. They need they need they need you to be codependent on them. This is someone that needs to be needed. They need to be in a relationship where they feel needed. And you are someone that's independent here. You don't need this person. You know, you may want someone in your life, someone loving, but you don't need it. You got you know, you fill up your own cup. This is someone that is very insecure. You make this person insecure. This is a masculine that's insecure. They're the type of masculine that's insecure, intimidated by strong women, strong independent women here, and they try to bring them down. For some of you, this masculine is trying to bring you down out of jealousy. I'm telling you because we got hurt here. Dealing with this person, you, we, we, we'll, we'll end up with you feeling hurt. Yeah. It's a fake apology. This person don't mean it. They're just coming in because they're jealous. They're trying to stop you, trying to slow you down here. For meeting someone new. Because they're triggered. For some reason. This person can't get over you. This is someone that can't get over you. For some of you. Maybe you've rejected this person before. Or something. They've got a big ego. They tried to move on from you. Clearly. But they're stuck. Because this person. Just, they can't get over you. They're coming in here to. I don't know. Play some sort of games with you. This person's got some. Twisted obsession over you. I don't know what it is. They're just codependent. They're addicted to your energy or something. Yeah. I can't leave you alone. The Grim Reaper. The relationship's over. Yeah, this is over. Relationship's over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Yeah. You close the door on this person. You've got boundaries here. Nine of Wands. You've already closed the door. You're not fighting to be with this person. This is what it is. You don't need them. This person, this is what's triggering this person. Because you are moving on. Yeah. You're at a distance. Yeah, we've got distance here. You're at a distance. You're moving on. This is it. The distance is getting bigger and bigger for some of you. Yeah. This person's unable to manipulate you here. Or you see, you see right through this person. 
And it's triggering this person here. It's triggering them. They pushed you away. Yeah, we've got coughing. It's, it's over. You have already put the situation to rest. It's this masculine here that is stuck on you. It's trapped. This masculine here. You've already moved on. This divine masculine here. I don't know what's going on. It looks like... Things are just not going their way. They didn't want things to end. It looks like they don't they don't want things to end. Clearly. But it has. It's ended. It's over. Moving on. New love. Yeah, it's over. New love. Stabbed in the back. You see what I'm saying? This is heartbreak pain. This is someone that, that causes caused you nothing but heartbreak and pain for some of you. This is someone from your past. Still addicted to you. All they do, they're a backstabber. All they've done was uh, stab you in the back. This is a backstabber here. They can't be trusted. That's what I'm saying. It's a fake apology here. This is someone coming to hurt you. But they feel hurt. They're triggered. That you don't need them. That you can get better than them. This is what it is. They're a backstabber here. Yeah. They'll talk, yeah, time with friends, moving on. Yeah, you need to move on, keep it moving. Happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This is what it is, you're keeping it moving. This is someone you have moved on from. The door's closed, you put the situation to rest. And you moved on, and you're happily single. Yeah, self-love and all that. This is what's triggering this person. They're watching you, and they're getting triggered by you living your life. And being successful and manifesting new beginnings for yourself. Yeah, they're triggered. This is someone jealous. They're jealous over you. This is a man that's jealous of a woman. That's really sad. That is really sad. It's an insecure man. And this is what it is. You make them feel insecure because you don't need them. This is why they like to deal with insecure women. Because it makes them feel big, you know? They feel needed. Yeah, so they use their money to manipulate women or men or you know the, in their relationships they use money sex to manipulate their partners this is how they operate they don't operate out of love ace of cups in reverse yeah you're moving on moving on and they're falling in love kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love they're falling in love with you yeah, for some of you, this person is actually falling in love. This is why they feel trapped, triggered. Because deep down, this person's got feelings for you, deep down. For some of you, this person acts cold towards you. Yeah, so it's all a front here. It's to hide the fact that they really love you. And they're falling in love with you day by day, you know. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, they're lying about how they feel about you. Yeah, they're a narcissist, you know, they've got too much pride and ego. They want you to need them. They don't want to show that they actually need you. This is someone that needs you deep down. They're insecure. They need you on an emotional level, spiritual level. Yeah. For some of you, it could be even financially. For some of you, you could be financially the one that's stable in this situation. And this person, this masculine is jealous. It's triggering them. Your success, your financial success, because you got Ace of Pentacles. Some of you manifesting wealth during this time. You've got new opportunities coming in that's bringing you financial success. This, this masculine is triggered. They could be the one that's codependent here on you for finances. It's, it's something to do with finances, money here. It's affecting this someone's love life here, financial issues. This masculine could be trying to manipulate you here because they feel like you are financially stable. And they want to eat off you. They're codependent. For some of you, this is what I'm getting. Can't be trusted. This is what I'm getting. They're looking at your photos. <laughs> They're obsessed. Looking at your photos, missing you, the nostalgia. Make new memories. They're, yeah, they're really obsessed with you. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, this masculine is really trying to manifest you here. Looking at your photos and stuff. Yeah, self-pleasure, I feel. They self-pleasure to your photos, Ace of Wands. 
yeah, a lot of sexual energy. Yeah, this is someone that's very sexual. Yeah, they have addictions, sex addictions. This is what I'm getting. This is someone that has got sex addictions. Yeah. Addictions. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, this is someone that has sex addictions, you guys. A lot of sexual energy. They try to send you sexual energy by masturbating into your pics and stuff. Trying to manifest you here. Is sex magic or something I'm getting? Yeah. Don't think it's working though. Hmm. <laughs> this is okay because you're still moving on. You're moving on. Yeah. Don't think it's working. You're moving on. The golden mirror. <laughs> Self absorbed narcissist. I can't make this up. This is a narcissist. Uh, Self absorbed. One sided relationship. Love bombing. Yeah, they want to come and love bomb you here. So I'm saying they want to sweep you off your feet, manipulate you here and stuff, just so that you don't move on to be with someone else. It's a narcissist looking out for themselves. You know, this relationship will grow. That's what I'm saying. So I feel about this situation. There's so much blockages here in the situation. It's not going to grow during this time, dealing with this person. Because it's one-sided. They're looking out for themselves. They're not looking, they ain't got your best interests at heart. This situation won't benefit you. It's one-sided here. So, yeah. It's all about self-indulgence. Yeah, just focus on yourself. Continue to focus on yourself. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. So I'm saying your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I'm getting. Yeah. Self. Yeah. It's all about self-love. You'll be happier loving on yourself than dealing with this person right now. This is it. Focus on self, self indulgence. Oh, it's changing everything though. I feel like this is what it is. Sudden change. We've got lightning, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. <sighs> I'm telling you, I feel like you're, you, in your self love energy, focusing on yourself, is changing everything. It's changed everything. Yeah. For some of you, this person is going to come in out of the blue. <laughs> They're gonna come in out of the blue. It is gonna be sudden because we got very soon here as well. So, for some of you, this person's gonna come in unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah, because they are triggered here. They are triggered here by you moving on. It's triggering something they're seeing. It's triggering this person. You moving on. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get a surprise here. It's changing, something's changing here with this person, this situation. Yeah, it's triggering this person. Oh, it's igniting the passion, that's what it is. Oh, insane chemistry, <laughs> like each other equally, having fun. Oh, this person, oh, I'm saying Ace of Wands. Oh, they're so attracted to you, this is what it is. It's turning this person on. I feel like you turn this person on, like secretly. <laughs> This is weird. This the energy of this person is just so twisted because it's like love or hate. It's like they're jealous of you, they hate you, they're intimidated by you, but then they're so attracted to you. It's like the passion they feel for you just keeps burning. The passion keeps burning here. It's like you turn them on secretly, you inspire them. Ace of Wands. Oh, they really want your sexual energy. This is someone that wants your sexual energy. Yeah, this is what it is. They're addicted to your sexual energy here. Something about you. Very sexual. Oh. Yeah, they're masturbating to you right now. Yeah. There's something about your sexual energy. This is what they want. This is what this person wants. It's not a relationship. It's not your love. It's... Your sexual energy. This is what they want. It's something about your sexual energy. Yeah. That this person wants. You guys, this is what I'm saying. And for some of you, you may be celibate as well. Make it even worse. Oof. So your sexual energy is very preserved right about now. Oh, So whoever gets to sleep with you during this time, they are going to be so lucky. <laughs> This is what this masculine is fearing. This is why it's triggering this masculine here. Because they don't want you to sleep with nobody else. They want, you know what I'm saying? They want it all for themselves. They're greedy though. Because they got someone else. They were someone else. Ugh. Yeah. 
Look, they're coming to talk to you, talking. <laughs> yeah, they're triggered, mate. Yeah. They can't be trusted, though. They're wearing a mask. I'm saying. They're lying. They're going to come and lie. Yeah. Not enough. Frustrated in the relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear slash ego issues. Jealousy. I'm telling you, you can't make this up. This, person, this masculine feels insecure. They feel, they feel very insecure. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. That's what I'm saying. You are like a mirror. This person... This, this is what I'm saying. This is someone that's just coming in to give you smoke and mirrors here. This is what I'm saying. Hurt people hurt people. This person's hurt. They feel a way. They're triggered by you. Not wanting them. Not, not moving on. Yeah. So they want to reflect how they feel onto you. Yeah. Relationships reflect our wounds. This is what it is. This is a relationship that will reflect their wounds. So they will come in. And uh, however they're feeling is going to be projected onto you. This person's going to come in to hurt you here. Yeah. Maybe intentionally for some of you. Maybe intentionally for some of you. Yeah, because this, 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 there's something about this, this masculine in here that's just off. It's like they don't... I, I feel like this is a masculine that don't really like women for some of you. Yeah, they need healing. It may stem from their childhood, but there's something about this masculine. They don't really like women or they don't like strong, independent women or something. Or they don't like women. For some of you. They got it out for women. I don't know. Just like. This is definitely a masculine that don't know how to love. They got some deep rooted issues here. But this is, you know, this masculine is looking at you, you know, from an objective point of view. It's like they. They just want to sleep with you. They just see women as someone to of people to sleep with, sex objects. This is that type of masculine. They just see women as sex objects here. Yeah, they're not coming. They don't. They're not coming. They don't love women. They just see them as sex objects, and that's it. This is the type of energy I'm picking up from just masculine here. Yeah, mask. Yeah, they secretly, they don't like women. I don't know. It's something deep-rooted, though. I feel like it's something deep-rooted. It triggers this pers this masculine's childhood in the wounds or something. Yeah. It's deep-rooted. And for some of you, you have a twin flame connection here with this person. This is your twin flame. So this is why this, con this, this connection with this ma masculine may help heal this, this masculine's inner wounds. But, yeah, they got too much ego. They fight against it here. Yeah, you need to release. Release the situation. This, this person's coming through here, but, yeah, it needs to be released. You'll be happier on your own. Yeah, as I can see, you probably doing anyway. That's what's triggering them, because you are happier on your own. Yeah, you need to release. Release the situation. Temptation. Yeah, this person's looking at you as a temptation. You're just very tempting right now, because... You're probably shining, you got, you're going, you know, you're going places. You're just looking spicy right now, you know. <laughs> this is what I feel. You're just looking spicy. This person's just tempted. It's a temptation right about now. Mm, to see if they can, um, this person's arrogant. It's like they want to, they're very cocky. They feel like, I feel like this person's got money or something. They feel like they are the big I am. They want to come in and tempt you here. Try to seduce you, manipulate you here. They feel like they're, they're, they're the shit, I feel. <laughs> this is a masculine that feels like they are the shit. Yeah, they're very arrogant. Yeah, they're coming in here. I'm telling you. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're a liar though. It's a sword in reverse. Could not be trusted. Yeah, it's over. Death. Yeah, you need to dead this. Move on. Yeah, it's over. It is over. They still haven't changed. I feel like you've changed. The Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, this is someone. I'm telling you, their, their belief system, I don't know. I don't know what God they believe in. They, they have different spiritual beliefs here to you. So I'm saying, they live an unconventional lifestyle. The Hierophant in reverse. They live an unconventional lifestyle. They have an unconventional relationship. 
they just do their own thing. They're not very traditional here. Yeah, they're watching you, Page of Swords, spying on you. Yeah, gathering information. Three of Pentacles, yeah, they're gathering information. they got a third party behind the scenes. Gathering information on you. Three of Pentacles in reverse. So they're working with someone. There's someone else in the picture behind the scenes. This is why they're a liar. Nothing but a big fat liar. They're coming in to deceive you here. It's what I'm saying. Ace of Swords backstab you here. Because there's, there's someone else they're working with as well to deceive you. Someone else that's watching you as well. There's a third party watching you as well. It's all a plot. They're plotting here. They're, they're plotting here to bring you down. Magician in reverse. For some of you, this person, yeah, they're into spirit, some sort of spiritual practices here. It's like, yeah, with the Hierophant in reverse, this is what I'm saying. This is someone that has some sort of different spiritual beliefs here. They worship a different kind of God, I'm getting. Demons. They summon demons here. They do spell work. There's a third party here that they work with that's doing spell work here. This is someone, oh my God, this is someone trying to do spell work on your life. To block you, to block your love life here. Or put blockages in your happiness and your love life. This masculine. I'm telling you, this masculine is a nasty piece of work. They're horrible. They do not want to see you happy with someone else. They just got it out for you. This is a masculine that's got it out for you, for some of you. You need to be careful here. This is what I'm saying. I feel like you are protected though. Because you're still manifesting new. you got still got new love coming in. You are protected. But they're working behind the scenes. Doing spell work here. They may pay for spell work. Yeah, they're working with someone here. A spiritual practitioner here. With the magician. Wow, in reverse. This person's trying to control and manipulate your path, your, your, your journey here. That's crazy because you guys are twin flames. So that is crazy. You got a twin flame here that is against you. They got issues. They love you and hate you. They got issues. Justice in reverse. Oh, you guys, this person's out for you. They really want to hurt you here. They're going against you here. Justice in reverse. Whatever they're doing, it's not fair. You don't deserve it. Oh, my God. For some of you, this person, this masculine in here. I just, oh, my God, I'm just picking up something dark here. For some of you, this masculine, they, they actually want to see you unalived. They want to destroy you here. This masculine actually wants to take over, take away your, take your life. I'm just picking that up for some of you. That, that's specific though. That's for someone. May not apply to all of you, but yeah, judgment in reverse. Oh yeah, they're making a poor choice, poor judgment here. These these people judge you harshly. Yeah, they're against you. They're against what you believe or something. There's something about you. You're not a part of this group of people. I feel like, yeah, that's what it is. This is like a coven or... These group of people here, they're into some sort of dark spiritual practices. Maybe particularly against women. Maybe this is a group of people that, that's, that's, that's against women. They don't like women. Or something. Maybe what you believe in. I don't know. They're out for you. For some of you, this person actually wants to take your life. They're plotting to take your life. Or something. They're plotting to take away something from you. Your happiness, your success, your energy, your sexual energy. Something. That they're trying to stop for you. This is someone that wants to stop something for you. And for some of you, it could be your life, even. Wow, this is evil. 
There's masculines secretly evil. They've got a dark side, you guys. Yeah, look, Ten of Swords. You need to be careful. They're a backstabber here. They're coming back. Because they tried to... This is someone they may have even tried already. They have already tried to bring you down. Ten of Swords. You're, you've, you're, you're recovering from the, the, the last few times. For some of you, it's a few times this, this masculine has tried to bring you down. Wow. And you have recovered... You keep getting back up. Ten of Swords in reverse. You keep healing. Wow, you keep getting back up here. This, this, they're trying to break your soul or something. Yeah, they're trying to break your soul. Yeah, this mask is trying to break your soul. This group of people, I don't know, they got it out for you. Wow. That's what it is, the star. That's what it is. Uh, your energy. You're a star. It's your energy. I'm telling you, it's your energy. It's healing. You're a healer. Cutting them all in, all up in their head. This person, they're jealous, jealous of your success. I'm telling you, these are. This is a man that's jealous of your success. This is a, a weak, pussy old man that's jealous of your success. Wow, look. Stressing over you and your success. Look at that. Two of swords, nine of swords. Stressing over you and your success. They're not happy for you at all. They're jealous. They want to bring you down. It's triggering this masculine. Whoever it is, it's triggering. Your success is triggering this masculine. Heavily. For some reason. Why though? Why are they watching you like that? Why are you such a trigger for this masculine? That is crazy. twisted obsession and they rather see you dead for some of you than to reach your success or happiness without them they can't stand it this is someone that cannot stand to see you happy with someone else if they can't have you no one can they're, they're thinking about killing you for some of you i'm sorry to say but this masculine's got some dark thoughts they get some dark thoughts about you i'm picking up for some of you it's like some love hate situation you need to be careful yeah, the Empress in reverse. Just trying to throw you off here. Ooh, uh, yeah, I'm getting... Yeah, I'm getting... They got someone pregnant. There's someone pregnant in the situation. This is what I'm saying. There's children. This is a masculine that's recently had children. Children are affecting your love life. Your love life is being affected by children. We've got the Empress here in reverse. So, yeah. They got someone pregnant. They got someone pregnant. They're having a child during this time. I'm getting for some of you. This is why I feel like this masculine knows it's over. The Grim Reaper coughing. They know it's over with you. They pushed you away. I mean, this masculine knows they can't get you back. They know it's over. They can't get you back. They're going to try and lie and sweep you off your feet and whatever, manipulate you here, love bomb you and stuff. But they know they've lost you. Yeah. They, they've done too much. they got someone else pregnant as well. So this situation with this masculine is unable to grow because there's too much blockages here. They've got children with other people committed to someone else. It's crazy. Too much baggage. Ten of Wands. Too much baggage here. Ten of Wands. This person is a burden. They are a burden. Yeah, chariot in reverse. This this person wants to slow you down. They they ask they they're unable to move forward in life because they got too much burdens that they create. They create all these burdens. Sleeping around, they have sex addictions, getting people pregnant, having unprotected sex. They create these burdens. These are choices that they made, and they want to slow you down now. Yeah, four cups. Yeah, now you're not interested. <laughs> you're not interested. Yeah, you were drawn. You're focused on work. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this masculine is watching your money. Seven of Pentacles. For some of you, this masculine here is codependent on f your finances. They're watching your, your success here. They're watching your money coming in. It's like this masculine knows that you've got financial wealth and success coming in. And this is why they want to come in here. This is a masculine that's codependent. Ooh. Yeah, they're triggered. 
Four of Swords in reverse. They're restless. Look at this. Knight of Swords. They're restless. They are triggered by what they're seeing. This person seeing your success. Your financial success for some of you. Or just your success in life. Just moving on from them. Just being happy without them. They're watching and they are triggered. Triggered. They can't sleep. They can't rest. They're triggered. They're coming in. Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're going to come and cut you off guard for some of you. I'm telling you, it's going to be unexpected. It's unexpected. Yeah, coming in with pleasure cups in reverse. <laughs> yeah, on the moon. Yeah, they're lying. They're keeping something hidden. The emperor, we've got the emperor. Yeah, masculine, divine masculine energy. Coming in as a front, trying to act like, you know, they, 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 they're single and ready to commit to you and stuff. And they're lying. Seven of Swords in reverse. They're lying there with the moon. Yeah, they're lying. Seven of Swords. Sneaky, still being sneaky, deceptive. Yeah, there's a third party involved. Is what I'm saying. They're still attached to a third party. They're sleeping with a King of Pentacles that they're sleeping with. Another masculine energy. They're into the same sex. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, this situation's not going nowhere. This can't. This masculine is getting their karma here. Yeah, this is their karma. They brought it on themselves here. Yeah, they got sex addictions here. They're sleeping with someone. They're sneaking around with a third party on top of everything else. Uh, they're sleeping around. They're sneaking around with a third party here. Someone that they sleep with. King of, King of Pentacles. Yeah, for money. Someone they sleep with for money. It's all about sex and money for this masculine here, I'm telling you. Yeah, you need to keep it moving from this masculine here during this time. I'm sorry to say, even though you've got twin flame connection or, or not. For some of you, this masculine could be trying to interfere with your twin flame connection. You could be moving on to unite with your twin flame here. And this masculine is trying to hold you back. Could be a jealous ex, lover, whoever this masculine is here. But they're, they're not stable. They're mentally not stable here. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, they see you as their future. For some of you, yeah, your angels, God has your future already lined up for you here. And this is what you've been guided towards. Yeah. Your future is bright here. This masculine, this is what's triggering this masculine. Yeah, they are triggered by you moving on here. And they are going to come in and try and gaslight you, manipulate you here. Yeah. And that's all it is. It's all about divine timing. So, yeah, this situation is going to need patience here. This masculine needs to heal. This masculine needs to heal. It's time to heal. This is what I'm getting. So, that is the messages for this reading. It went on longer than I expected. But I guess, you know, it just has to come out. Messages has to come out. It's to help. It may be to help someone out here that may be going through this during this time so i hope this reading does help so before you go please like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i really appreciate your support you guys and uh click the notification bell so you get an alert when i post the next time and i will see you in the next video so i'm sending you all much love